What's happening guys? Len here with 715 Outdoors. It's Valentine's Day and uh, what that means is spring is right around the corner, right? <laughs> well, don't we wish? Well, I got a project and I want to share with you what it is I'm doing to occupy the days when it's a little too cold for ice fishing and a little too early for getting on a boat. What I'm trying to do is solve this dilemma. This lures getting all stuck and hooked together here. Let me show you how I'm doing. So what I've got here, I've got this old Cabela's bag and some of my favorite pike and musky lures. And I got my saws all. And what I used to have was about five 10 foot sticks of schedule 40 um, PVC pipe, inch and a half and two inch. Now. I have some laying on the floor here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Gorilla Glue and I'm gonna glue all of these together so that when I want to organize my lures, I can just drop them in like so. Ow, hooks are sharp, like that. I got inch and a half for my bigger ones and I got, or I got two inch for my bigger ones and inch and a half for my smaller ones. And what I did, this Cabela's bag is, it is 10 inches by about 16 and a half inches and 12 inches high. So I cut each of these 11 and a half inches long to leave plenty of room for the zipper. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Gorilla Glue these pieces of pipe together into a honeycomb pattern and put them in the bag so that I have nice organized tackle when I go out fishing for pike. So I didn't want to cut everything on camera because uh, it's loud, it's annoying, and it's really not necessary. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm going to sand the ends where I cut them just to kind of smooth things off and uh, make them kind of fit nicely together and look a little better. Um, and plus it'll be just less material for my hooks to grab on. So as you can see here, the ends of the PVC, again, this is schedule 40, this is rough stuff. I cut this with really what's nothing more than a wood blade on the sawzall, I believe that's a plywood blade. Um, so I'm just gonna take these ends, I'm gonna take my 220 fan paper, I'm gonna rip off about a third to half of it and all I'm gonna do is just take this and I just wanna get inside here and just start smoothing this out. The other thing that, the other thing you might find that may work even a little better is a file. I have a metal file here that's flat on one side, semi-round on another, and it has two different grits if you will. So I can just get inside here and kind of smooth out the edges and take the flat edge, kind of this hasp edge, and just smooth out the top. All right, so in the interest of working where it's warm and allowing this stuff to set up, I've begun the process. So the two inches, or I'm sorry, the inch and a half pipes are going to be seven across to fit in the bag. So I've got the first seven set up here and just drying while I am preparing some of the two inches. And all I'm doing, I'm taking some 250 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding the sides of it just to rough it up a little and prepare the surface. And what I'm using here to adhe adhere them is JB Weld Minute Weld. So it says it's supposed to be set up in an hour. So we will see about that. Alright guys, so 
I got it done. Let me show you how it turned out here. Actually, it's not entirely done, and I'll explain that as we go. So, <laughs> one-handed. Here's what I've done. I have made an uh, upright tackle box for my musky lures. And as you can see, I have the PVC. Basically, what I did was I epoxied this these pipes together. I cut these down to around 11 inches. That's This is one and a half inch pipe. And I have some two inch pipe in here also. Now I didn't, I initially thought that I would want to epoxy all of these together, but then I thought, you know, I, I should maybe just do them in rows like this. So if I get some bigger, um, stuff I can add to it, you know, maybe some two and a half inch pipe even, uh, depending on what kind of lures I want. So, um, yeah. So, you know, the smaller, oops, let me, there we go. So some of the smaller ones here will hold some of these longer jerk baits and husky jerks that really are more appropriate for like pike Maybe even largemouth and smallmouth bass. Oh, look at that. The old, old red eye wiggler there. But, you know, then when we get to the, the two inch pipe here, we've got, whoops, we've got the big boys. There you go. This is the problem with doing this one handed. <laughs> so. That's the live target sucker. This is a used lure I picked up at a local tackle, bait and tackle shop there. Let's see what else I got in these big boys here. I've got, uh, oh, look at here. I've got the mighty super shad that as you can see, the pike and the muskie loved that one last year. And got this big jointed mamma jamma here so lots of room safely stored so one thing that I like about this is obviously this makes things very easy accessible and as long as I'm taking stuff out one at a time it's not tangled up it's more accessible than having several trays. What I don't like about it is this tackle bag is pretty heavy. Um, but I'm going to have it in the boat with me at my feet or between me and Evan and we'll be able to freely toss these nice big musky lures and hopefully have a great deal of success. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.